country was still coming from both sides of the House, uh, even, even though you're quick out of the blocks, you've still got to show that respect. Honourable uh, Marama Davidson. To the Minister of Health. Does he stand by his statement, quote, the dream I have for Māori is to lift pretty much every health metric we have to the level we have for non-Māori. If so, what actions, if any, will he take to achieve this? Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister, yes. And I stand by the rest of the quote where the Minister said, quote, I think the hapu probably know what's best for their communities, end quote. Okay. Who? Supplementary. Who, Hannah Linden? Tēnā koe, Mr Speaker. To the Minister, how will Māori health leadership be brought into the health sector when you intend to disestablish Te Aka Whaiora? Mr Speaker, on Matthews. behalf of the Minister, can I point the, point the member to another quote? Uh, quote my dream is to devolve decision-making and funding and give to Mana Motahake as close to home and hapu as possible. Supplementary. Yeah. Linden. Why is the minister proposing to repeal a structure that will enable Te Aka Whaiora to take a local approach, empowering hapu, iwi and whanau through Iwi Māori Partnership Boards and localities. Mr Speaker, Honourable Matt Ducey. on behalf of the Minister, as outlined in the speech from the throne, services will be delivered on need using a range of effective providers including iwi and community groups who have the best reach into the communities they serve. Mr Speaker, on this side of the House, we believe communities know what's best for their people, not Wellington. If he agrees that iwi and Māori are a best place to ensure our health system works well for Māori at a central level as well as through local devolution, then why not ensure this is resourced through Te Aka Whaiora that was already established instead of creating a new model? Mr Speaker, if I can, on behalf of the Minister, if I can point uh, that member to another quote. Uh, from the story she's referenced, quote, the difference in philosophy on where we want to go and where the Māori Health Authority was going was why uh, was all that funding held in Wellington with a Wellington knows best approach. Does he acknowledge that removing the smoke-free laws will mean more people will die from smoking, while the only people who will benefit from this are landlords getting tax cuts? Where did that come from? Honourable Mr. Speaker, on behalf Shame. of the minister, uh, on behalf of the minister, have stated in the house before, I have full confidence in Min Minister Costello and to reaffirm this government is committed to reducing smoking rates and helping people give up smoking. Uh, question number nine, the Honourable Willie Jackson. 